Alright y'all. All my haters, please turn around. It's not for you. So basically what I'm about to do right now is show y'all something. Hey Siri, how much is the most expensive iPhone? Everything you need to know about iPhone is on Apple's website. Alrighty, so let me click that real quick guys. And nigga, the iPhone XR is $499. The iPhone XS is $699 fucking dollars. Boy, if you don't get your buy your iPhone. Look, check 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, Stop flake flexing on me, nigga. Alright, what else? What else? Uh, uh, um, 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 um. What else they be talking about, man? Oh, yeah, they're talking about some motherfucking flight or some shit. Boy, you can. 46, 80, 100, 20, 46, 80, 100, 20, 46, 80, 100, 20, 46, 80, 100, 20, 46, 80, 80, motherfucker. Y'all get the motherfucker deal, nigga. Look, bruh. Look, bro, I'm not about to sit here and argue with you niggas at all. It is a little bank, bro. You want to see where the big bank at? You really want to see where the big bank at, man? Motherfucking credit card, bitch. I can't show my numbers, but y'all know what's up. Credit card, man. Y'all go get y'all one motherfucking bank card, matter of fact. Uh, yeah, man. Let's get it. My mom was broke, I did it to crack. Came mama had stacks. If she went to jail, came mama had racks. Back on my grizzly like I never feel. Yeah. Alright, y'all. Uh, I just pulled up, bro. I hope y'all can see me good. If not, I'll probably change it. But, uh, diamonds glistening, so it's alright. It's alright, you know what I'm saying? It's alright. Every time I pull up here, but there's always like a cop or something. But we got the nighttime vibes going. And I just want to explain to y'all like what my teacher is like. As y'all can see in the title. My teacher said I won't uh, make it. You know what I'm saying? My teacher said this and that about me. Cheers, guys. Um, make sure y'all share these videos, man. Because today, as it was dry as hell. Like I posted a video and it was very dry. Like um, I don't know if it was the title or what, but like. I just know this shit was dry as hell, so. First day of 2019, not so great, but, um, also, I saw that video, like, homie said that shit was gonna be funny. To be honest, that shit was not funny at all. It's kinda like, it's kinda like disrespectful, bro, like, how I see it, real quick, guys, is this shit, I... I would have fucking... I told him ahead of time anyway. I was supposed to go on the 27th, bro. I told him, like, on the 23rd or 24th that these tickets are fucking overpriced. You know what I'm saying? And when I looked back in November, he told me, let's do something in December. I said, bet. So I looked up the prices back in November, and I was like, bet. I see it's like 180 I said, that ain't shit. Boom. I fucking put that to the side, right? And then, like, the month goes by and we're ready to go, you know what I'm saying? Or I'm about to get ready to go and I'm already planned it out. I even had, like, extra couple bills I could go and spend, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, bet. Then I'm like, I see these prices, bro. I see, like, 800 700 the lowest. The lowest I saw was, like, 600 something, including taxes and fees. So I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I'm not about to do this. And then explain to y'all why. Y'all saw, like, y'all see I have money. Don't ever call me broke because I never lose digits. I always gain them. I'm never going down. I'm going straight up. I've never lost, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've, I've lost a lot, but I'm saying, like, now, I've been going straight up. Don't ever call me broke because every time you see me, I got a little more money. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. So, this is disrespectful when I hear people saying, oh, 
do this, do that, do this, do that. There's times to do this and there's times not to do this. Honestly, I would have spent a thousand dollars on the LA trip, and for what? I wasn't even ready for that shit, bro. Like, I, as far as the flights, seven bills, and like, it was just because the the date, bro. It was around Christmas and New Year's. Between then, that's the most expensive airline traffic fees you could get ever. It's between Christmas and New Year's. Like, bro, that shit's like, I never knew that. I'm chilling, you know what I'm saying? I don't know about flights, bro. So don't judge me on the flights, bro, because I didn't know about that shit. And I was searching days to days. You could ask this nigga. I was searching, bro, and I was searching and searching, searching to the point where I got frustrated. I was like, bro, if you send me another link, I'm not even going to look at it type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been looking and looking. It's the same price, same price, same price. I'm like, damn. So basically, I'm going in January, guys. So if y'all going to be in Los Angeles, I'm going to be there in January. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when, but I'm going to be there for sure. This time, I'm booking my tickets ahead of time. So that way, I know exactly what I'm paying. Like, I already have it. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to fucking be like any surprises. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, guys. So, my teachers, bro. My motherfucking teachers, bro. My teachers, they were like crucial on my ass. Like, I would be late to school sometimes. And sometimes, it would just be like... um not even my fault, like, it's the bus's fault, like, or sometimes I'll miss the school bus, and it's, it's really, like, accidents, like, and I get judged for it, so, I took those as, I took all that shit to the heart, bro, and I, I just started, like, stacking all those up and started remembering everything that they were saying, and it all got to me, and it, it got me to a point where I was feeling down on myself, where I was feeling like I couldn't accomplish it accomplish what I want to accomplish due to what they're telling me you know what I'm saying guys and that shit sucks when you feel that way so that's why I had to prove a lot of people wrong now people like they tell me I can't do this and guess what I do I do it and it's very very awesome feeling when you accomplish something like that you know so my teachers, they were like, you won't, you won't be shit if you don't be in school and if you don't do this and do that. Well, guess what? No one in my school got as much subscribers as me. And I just want to thank y'all for a second. I know it's like my subs, they come and go. And that's for every YouTube channel, period. You know what I'm saying? You could have 10 million subs. You're only going to have like 3 million strong. So we got about 200K I gotta say, we're about 50k strong, you know what I'm saying? But we're barely coming up. You know, we're barely doing our thing, and there's gonna be much more ideas coming soon, and all that good stuff, guys. But yeah, uh, so basically, my teachers, man, they'll, they'll downfall me and everything, like, and I would tell them, like, I'm gonna try to do this music, and I show them some of my music, then they criticize me about it, saying, oh, you know, uh, did you write that yourself and like like doubting me, you know, and I hate when people doubt me because That's I mean it, it just it's not good. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to fucking push you got to be motivated out here to do what you got to do You know what I'm saying guys? You got to be motivated to do what you do So I, I had to do it without motivation So it got to the point where I was stealing phones in school. Do not do this guys. I, it's what I was doing I was stealing phones in school, right? And I fucking, I end up just, like, getting caught one day. Well, actually, I got caught for all of them. But one day, I got caught. And we, 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 there was, like, a substitute teacher on the school bus. And my homie, like, her phone was right there, right? And my homie just took it, right? And we just took off. And, and they checked the cameras, and they caught us, right? They led, uh, they led from that. They caught us from stealing everybody else's phone, you know what I'm saying? And, we were still phones back then because we would, like, sell them and get money. But I got caught up for it. I had to pay, like, 800 and something dollars. Well, we gave whatever we had back. And then I had to pay, like, 800 something dollars in phone fees. Like, or the cops. Like, the cops wouldn't have done nothing. But they knew. Somebody told them where I live. Like, I guess the school told them where I live or something. And that's what ended up happening. Like, if you don't get your bright ass lights out my face before I slap the shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do you see that shit? I hate when people do that, man. They be putting their brights on and shit. But we, we blazing the hemp, man. 
hemp gang, you know what I'm saying? Whole lot of hemp shit. But basically, like, my teachers, oh, shit, I don't want to kill my battery. My teachers would doubt me, and this is what brought me to, like, I stopped stealing, I stopped doing all that bad stuff, because karma was getting on my ass, and Jesus, like, God was helping me out, so it was kind of leveling out my life to the point where it was a 50% chance if I would die, a 50% chance that I would live because God and karma. So karma and God was weighing 50-50. This life is not good for me, you know what I'm saying? I had to change my ways. So now my karma is probably like 25%, and this is because I do like have attitude and I do have problems that I need to work on, you know what I'm saying? If some old lady tells me it smells like weed, I'm gonna be like, it smells like your upper lip, and that's just me, you know what I'm saying? Like, Alright, y'all. Oh, shit. <laughs> My fault, y'all. I don't know if that's good, but it's gonna be good enough for right now. So, basically, guys, let's say you had a $20 bill. You could spend this $20 bill, or you could save and invest this $20 bill. I've done this before. I was on my ass. I came out of jail back in 2017, and I had, 200, I had $180 to my name. But I was supposed to have a couple stacks, you know what I'm saying? But things didn't go as planned. So that's why you can't plan stuff most of the time. So this is what's going to happen. I had 20 bucks, and I went to my homie, and I was like, bruh, I'm broke as fuck. No one wanted to give me handouts. I didn't even ask for handouts, but I was just, like, in a position where I wanted to. And what ended up happening was I ended up just getting, like, a mindset like I had before. Like, I, I made money before, so I, I kept that mindset. 20 turned to 50. 50 turned to 100. 100 turned to 200. 200 turned to 4. 4, 8. I mean, 4, 10. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all based on your mindset. Like, if you calculate your, your, your mathematics through life, it could set you good, you know, and that's why I think that the teachers was trying to explain to me. Like, you have to set your life through mathematics, and it helps a lot if you go to school. I understand that. But then again, you got people with the student loan debts. If I was in school, I would have no debts, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, like, people people are in debt right now. People are, are in debt all around the world. They got interest fees everywhere. They got this and that, and that's why you're setting your life up mathematically, equation-wise, just for you to understand what's going on and how you could, like, live a better life. You know what I'm saying? So, let's say you have 200 k Are you going to spend the whole $200,000? Or are you going to save up and invest that shit and make that shit triple? Make it quadruple. You know what I'm saying? Like, that next thing you know, that 200 k is 1.2K and you're looking back at that 200 k I mean, you're looking back when you had 200 k and you're like, damn, I remember when I was going to spend that 200 k Now I got a whole milli. And I could spend that 200k still. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. That's how you do it, man. That's how you fucking do it. And no people, no people, like what I mean by no people is like most people don't realize that shit. I'm sitting in a fucking car wash in the cold smoking a doty blunt with a fat ass camera in front of my face. This shit takes dedication. Alright, y'all. Um. I'm about to show y'all some songs real quick, and I want y'all to let me know in the comment section. One, two, or three. Song number one, song number two, or song number three. Now, this is song number one. This is what I'm going to drop first. Y'all let me know in the comments which one y'all want first. I don't know why I'm screaming loud as fuck, man. This beat, loud as fuck. If I hit it talking down, we could get it how you step Motherfuck the breath, bitch, I'm born like Steph It still fuck my ex and I'm glad that I left How I fucking see it is like what's next Now I treat these hoes like some motherfucking pets Kinda like the dudes with the motherfucking jets They want one nigga, that's a motherfucking bet How we just met and I got the pussy wet Days I ain't had shit, left me a threat I ain't have cable, I ain't have a bed Run up on me and I ain't for the head This time last year, thought that I would be dead Provide for my family, we moving ahead Oh, that's all y'all get for right now all right, now we got the second one. This one's called Kush. Wake up in the morning and the Kush when I taste. I smoke Kush to the face. I wake up in the morning and I'm tired like a lace. I smoke Kush in this place. I wake up in the morning and the Kush when I taste. I smoke Kush to the face. I wake up in the morning and I'm tired like a lace. I smoke kush in this place, hey, hey, hey. I smoke kush where I please. 
Bitches on my dick, man, the bitches on their knees. Came up in the jungle, had to lose a couple G's if you wanna. That was song number two. Now, song number three is this one. I also fucking this one. This one go hard. Texas in this bitch, and you know we fucking lit. Smoke a op just like a zip. It's rest in peace, that's off the rip. I know sometimes I'm a trip. I just pray I do not slip. Got your bitch up on my dick, that don't eat sauce up on the dick. Set on back up on the beat. Fuck with me, you face the feet. That's your hoe, she buy the cheaper mommy and some doty sweets. I'ma eat by any means, they county money in my dreams. Life ain't always what it seems, but fuck it, I'ma stack my child for that. Alright y'all, but make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I'll be back at it with some more fire videos. Remember, let me know. One, two, or three. Also, Saturday, dropping the music video for from homies from Dallas. Y'all stay tuned for that. We about to get litty. And you know what fucking me. Up in the morning, I'm tired like a day. like a bird. Smoke cush in this place, hey. Smoke Kush while I plead, yeah. It's AKC, wish you ride and got the D. Hey, wake up in the morning in the Kush when I taste. I smoke Kush to the face, and I wake up in the morning.